Twas the night before Christmas, and all through the house, not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. Stockings were hung by the chimney with care, in hopes that Sir Nicholas would soon be there. Children were nestled all snug in their beds, while visions of sugar plums danced in their heads. And Mama in her kerchief, and, my, and I in my cap, had just settled down for a long winter's nap. When out on the lawn there arose such a clatter, I sprang from my bed to see what the matter. Away to the window I flew like a flash, tore open the shutters, and threw up the sash. The moon on top of the newfallen snow gave the luster of midday to objects below. What to my wandering eyes should appear but a miniature sleigh with eight tiny reindeer. A little old driver so lively and quick. I knew in a moment must be St. Nick. More rapid than eagles, his horses they came, and he whistled and shouted and called them by name. Now Dasher, now Dancer, now Prancer and Vixen, on come and on keep it on Donner and Blitzen. To the top of the wall, to the top of the porch, now dash away, dash away, dash away all. As dry leaves before the wild hurricane fly, when they meet with an obstacle, mount to the sky. So up to the house shop, the courses they flew with the sleigh full of toys, and St. Nicholas, too. And then in a twinkling I heard on the roof a prancing, a pawing of each little hoof. As I drew in my head and was turning around, down the chimney St. Nicholas came with a bound. Dressed in all fur from his head to his foot, and his clothes were all tarnished with ashes and soot. A bundle of toys he had flung in his bag, and he looked like a peddler just opening his pack. His eyes, how they twinkled. His dimples, how merry. His cheeks were like roses, his nose like a cherry. His droll little mouth was drawn up like a bow, and the beard on his chin was as white as the snow. He had a broad face and a little round belly that shook when he left like a bow full of jelly. <laughs> Dubby and plump, a right jolly old elf. I laughed when I saw him in spite of myself. A wink of his eye and a twist of his head soon gave me to know I had nothing to dread. Spoke but a word, and went straight to his work. He filled all his stockings, and then turned with a jerk. Laying a finger aside of his nose, and giving a nod, up the chimney he rose. He sprang to his sleigh, to his team gave a whistle, and away they all flew like the down of a thistle. I heard him sleigh, and he drove out of sight. Merry Christmas to all, and to all a good night!